All right, today, as we promised you, we are focusing on Somalia and the relationship with Kenya. And I have Abdi Wahab Sheikh, thank you very much, who's um, an expert on regional affairs on the Horn of Africa and, of course, on Somalia. Thanks for making the time. Nice to be, nice to be here. Let's talk about this latest incident. Um, and I think we're clear that it was the members of parliament who were detained and not the prime minister. But he, as we understand, chose to to stay in solidarity with uh, his members of parliament. But what effect do you think this incident has um, on the relations between the two countries? Point of corruption, well, never, you know, the prime, Somali prime minister mm -hmm. never detained yeah. in Atchomo Kantash airport. But what happened, uh, initially, the Somali prime minister office has forwarded the, number, the, the list of the delegates, uh -huh. which is almost, uh, let's say, around 10 to, between 8 to 10. But what happened, he turned up with more than 20 delegates, which can make a havoc, the security apparatus, okay. the, the, sorry, the, 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 the immigration officials. Uh -huh. But that's a minor misunderstanding between the Somali delegation led by the prime minister and also officials at the Jomo Kenyatta airport. Right. Initially, the, according to his statement from, uh, from Turkey, he just said that uh, he clarified the issues because he says he never detained himself mm -hmm. but he was just there to be clear the rest of the delegates yeah. so that they can proceed to, to Turkey whereby they're going to attend high level you know talks mm -hmm. in Somali conference right. in Istanbul so Somali Prime Minister has a very good very good relationship mm -hmm. with Kenyan government mm -hmm. it was weekend that time unfortunately but uh, still you know, the K Kenyan top officials, uh, they never responded to it. Mm. Because uh, I read that also, I, I recommend the, the Kenyan, you know, the Kenyan position. Because yeah. not, uh, you know, not, 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 not in fact, uh, you know, the issue is not important. But equally, it's important to, to downplay the issue because to, right. to uh, at least, you know, to diffuse the tension between the neighbor states. Absolutely, and Kenya is yet to respond, um, or at least we've not heard of the response from uh, you know, the Kenyan Foreign Affairs Ministry. Um, how do you think they should respond, like you say, to diffuse the tensions out of this incident? And as I told you, I really recommend the position of the Kenya right now. Mm -hmm. They purposely downplay the, okay. the, the issue. All right. So that, you know, it is important, so the issue is not important. It's not issue. It's not, I'm not saying the issue is not important, mm -hmm. but equally it's important at least to you know to diffuse the tension between the two two, two sister nations, mm. and that's what they have done. It. I think they are going to communicate through the right of journalists. Okay. Uh, the other thing I'm going to mention here is the Somali delegation 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 del led by the prime minister. I think they don't follow the norms and protocol, international norms and protocol. And that's the point of contention between the two nations. Okay. And I don't think so, you know, uh, we cannot exaggerate the issue. The issue is mm -hmm. a minor issue, mm -hmm. it's a minor understanding between mm -hmm. the two nations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, but this is just one of the latest incidents we've seen. Uh, but Abdi Wahab, you, you know about uh, the vote in the Somali parliament uh, for the withdrawal of KDF from Somalia, even though KDF is now under the Amazon banner. Um, and I just want to put it all together in context because that's not the only issue. Um, and, you know, they raise the issue of uh, the illegal charcoal and sugar trade that the KDF is alleged to be involved in in Somalia. But not only that, they also decried the plans by Kenya to build a wall along its border with Somalia. And then we know that, uh, you know, Somalia has taken Kenya to the ICJ. Uh, so all of these things, could you just paint for us that picture? L Evan, let me, let me clarify an mm -hmm. issue. You know, we have not, you know, explained we have, we, have, we have not articulated in explaining our presence inside Somalia mm -hmm. to the Somali public, right. to some extent, okay. to, the, to the international community. Why I'm saying that? Initially, when we invaded into Somalia in pursuit of Al-Shabaab, which Kenya has a right to defend herself, mm -hmm. we, ca we, we, we never consult Somali government based in, in Mogadishu. That has created a huge public, public PR our troops inside Somalia. Equally, the Somali public failed to differentiate between the, inv the moment of invasion uh -huh. and the moment AU accepted as a peacekeepers. So the problem is we have to restructure our foreign policy towards Somalia. 
Why am I saying that? You know, it's the some the foreign policy. You know, we cannot. You you can you can choose your your your, your friend, mm. your friend, mm -hmm. but you cannot choose your your, your neighbor. That's true. Somalia will be will be our neighbor forever. Yeah. No question about yeah. that. But it is up to the Kenyan Foreign Ministry mm -hmm. to come up a comprehensive foreign policy toward Somalia. Right. And we can we have we must have ex strategy. Also, we can, uh, the sooner we the sooner we have ex strategy, the better. Because we cannot also stay in Somalia for that's well. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. Okay. Um, and it's an interesting point you mentioned about winning the hearts and minds um, of the Somalis, uh, you know, in Somalia to say we are here on mission X, Y, Z. Um, and that's an interesting point uh, you bring out about um, whether all of this is done at a high level, but, you know, not enough information trickling down to the people. No. Well, basically, mm. when we invade into Somalia, mm -hmm. It is up to the Kenyan government to explain to the Somali public. Right. We are here to assist you guys. Mm -hmm. We are not the invaders. Before so Kenya invaded into, into Kismayo, Kismayo was total under, total control under, 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 under Al-Shabaab. Yes. Today, there is a business is booming. You know, the Dombasi returned to Jub Jubaland region. And that they have done a good job. So, but that good job itself, you have to explain to the people themselves, mm -hmm. people on the, on the ground, mm -hmm. so that they, you, you, can, you can gain the hearts and the minds of the people. That's why there's a huge misunderstanding between the Kenyan foreign policy of Somalia and the Somali public. Uh, for instance, uh, let's come back to the issue of the, of, of the airport. I'm a Kenyan. Mm -hmm. If I go to, it, to, to Somalia, yeah. I'm not seeking a you know, visa application from the yeah. embassy. I'll go to Mogadishu. On arrival, I will get the visa. And that's a good step. That's a good. You know, our government must improve our relation with, so, with Somalia. A lot of so Kenyan expertise, as we speak right now, yeah. there is a Somalia. Right. Some of them they work with the UN, yes. others they work with Amazon, others they work with uh, international NGOs. So, and in fact, it's very important that our, our government to have a good relation with our neighbor. Otherwise, if you fail to do so, then what, we, what will be the repercussions? Maybe the, co the security cooperation between the two nations, they are going to, you know, the fact they are going to slow down the security cooperation between the, between the two. And also, ma you, ha you have to also know that we have thousands of troops inside Somalia, right, yeah. as we speak right now. Right. So we cannot risk our, you know, our, the lives of our soldiers inside, inside Somalia because of pity issues. Right. Abdiha, what you're saying is we, we worked on our military strategy, um, but not so much on our diplomatic one between the two countries. That's what I'm saying, yeah. apart from the military invasion, yes. apart from the pacifying the Somali community as well, we must, we must have what you call shattered diplomacy mm -hmm. between the two nations, secret diplomacy. So the, the Somali public and Somali government must understand the intention of the, of, of the Kenyans as well. And that's, that's uh, the, 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 what you call the responsibility of the Kenyan, of the Kenyan government to come up a comprehensive foreign policy towards Somalia. Yeah. So, uh, you know, our foreign policy needs to restructure. We have to restructure our foreign policy okay. towards Somalia. The sooner we do, the better. All right. And it's interesting because that trickles down as well, um, you know, to the common uh, Mwananchi, if you like, even here in Kenya, uh, where I may be wrong, uh, but, you know, and, and this is by no means scientific, but you tend to see there's frosty relations between, uh, you know, Somalis and uh, Kenyans of, of other origin uh, to the point where we have to, Abdi Wahab, start to say this is a Somali-Somali and this is a Somali-Kenyan. Uh, you know, do you get that sense that even uh, within our borders, uh, the relationship <laughs> between Somalis and other Kenyans, and I hate to put it that way, you know, isn't the best? Let, let me tell you. Let me, let, let me give, let's go back to history. Okay. Let me enlighten your mind. And... When, so, when Kenya attained independence from Britain in 1950, 53 years ago, some of the Somali public areas in northern, northern part of the country yeah. wasn't happy yes. joining the Somalia. Yes. 50 years down the line, yeah. now we are accepted as a Kenyans. Right. And we're happy with it. Today, if you, if you conduct a similar referendum of 1962, mm -hmm. whether they're going to join the Somalia or to join or the, 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 the Kenya, I'm assure you, I can assure you, 99.9, .9, they will vote for for Kenya, that's a step forward. Yeah, that's a, in fact what you call a very good step forward. Are we refining the same step right now? Uh -huh. uh, the question I'm going to ask our my government, they have to think about the, the, those issues. Those issues again. The 
since the devolution, in fact, it was introduced in Kenya just yes. uh, four years ago. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, now there is a lot of you know what you call uh, you know the delivery services in the northern part of, of, of the country. Right now, there is what you call a county government in northern Kenya, whereby they are going to deliver the services, uh, not from the cent cent not from the Nairobi, but at, at, at county level. That itself has improved the lives of the Somali community. Ra as we speak, the Somali community and the, 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 the rest of the Kenyans, I think now they are coming to understand each other. They are much, much better than before. That money I can, you can take to the bank. Okay, all yes. right. And I like that. It's a, it's a spirit of hope. What can we do much more? Um, because you're saying we're definitely not where we were at independence. Um, but then, you know, still, the war on terror has created, uh, you know, some divisions. Which is unnecessary. <laughs> but, yeah, how do we start let, to let me, let me correct you, Yvonne. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the war on terror is a global, you know, terrorism is a global issue. Mm -hmm. So it's not, it's, not, it's not only for the for Kenyan baby. Yeah. That one issue. The other issue is uh, this, this Kenya, we, we, are we are a state. But still we are broke, we are bro broken nation. Still we are building the nation from the, from the grassroots. So we can build our nation. It will take some time to build the nation. Before 1963, there is no what called Kenya. Mm -hmm. Kenya was created by the, by the, by the British with different 42 tribes. So to understand each other, it will take time. It's not overnight. It will take time. Now, it ha right now, we have to build the nation from the scratch, little by little, at until we form a nation called Kenya. So let's wait for that. All right. Uh, finally, there is a sense, um, and, and I'm going <laughs> to put it a little differently. There's a sense in which Somalis feel not yet Kenyan. I agree. I totally agree with you. Good. But How do we fix that? But let me let let me tell you uh, equally a lot you know there's a lot of marginalization in northern part if you look at 53 years down the line if you go to Ajia, garissa madera merceban moyale and those areas which constitute almost 53 percent of total land mass of kenya if you look at the how the development takes place you cannot compare the rest of kenyans and that itself has created what you call uh, some some kind of uh, disappointment right from the central government. Yeah. But the government now they work on it to overcome th those problems. That's what I'm saying, you can be you cannot build Roma was not built in a day. You cannot build a nation in a span of less than fifty years fifty years. But it will take maybe hundred years to build a beautiful nation called Kenya. Okay, all yes. right, I like that. A very spirit of hope. Yeah. But also talking about strengthening the diplomatic ties between the two countries. Uh, that's also let me go by these issues. Yeah. It is the best interest of Kenya mm -hmm. to have a good relationship with Somalia. Equally, it's the best interest of Somalis to have a good relationship with Kenya. Okay. So it's up to the two nations to harmonize the views. All right, to, to see how that would happen. Thank you very much for that and for your insights you. today at the Wahab Sheikh, who is an expert on matters within the Horn of Africa, talking to us about this diplomatic spat that is brewing between Kenya and Somalia. We hope to see that resolved soon amongst the other issues between the two. He talks about strengthening the diplomatic ties and the interests of both nations here at Bottom Line East Africa. will be keenly watching those events.